Hello all, good morning, good evening or good afternoon, based on wherever you are. And today, surprisingly, I stumbled upon finding out that Business Central 25 or AKA Business Central 2024 Release Wave 2 is live for Business Central SaaS customers. So as promised, on October 1st, 2024, the Business Central 2024 Release Wave 2 is available for general pub, general availability. Um, and you can start building your environments around it. So in this video, let's quickly get into it and try to create a new Business Central 2025 environment. Okay. So you go to your Business Central SaaS Admin Center, you click on the new icon, which then lets you uh, set up some parameters and then based on it, it creates the environment that you need. Now, so you give it an environment name, let's say BC25 for my case. I cannot create a production because I have already one sandbox and then I choose the country for which I want this environment to be. So that becomes in this case for me, let's say US and you can choose a different company. And then the default version that you see now is version 25.0.23364.24599. And there is still the preview option available if you want to test it out. Uh, it says the new environment will be set up in an update window that falls outside the common working hour. After the environment is created, you can see and change the update window and all. Okay. While it is creating, let's go a little bit and understand what that means. What happens when the Business Central 25 releases today, as in release today. So let's understand it from this perspective. As of this moment, while I'm talking about it, we will not be you will not be able to create a new environment in business central cloud for business central 24 or aka business central 2024 release wave one so if you have customers uh, who are testing on uh, 2024 uh, release wave one make sure that their production is delayed for the upgrade which you can do from your admin center there's a separate video about it you can surely watch it yes i'll talk about on-prem so on-prem, there is no yet official announcement for on-prem. Historically, we have seen it normally takes a week around the time when the on-prem version of Business Central is available after the cloud version is live. So as of this moment, all your uh, source control pipelines, if you're pointing to the current, they'll start pointing to BC25. So if you are someone who are working for your customers and using uh, CI CD pipelines, make sure to update those pipelines to still point to 24 point specific version that they are using because the current after this moment starts pointing to bc25 what you should be doing as a partner or a customer if you have customers who are using prior version of business Central 24 till now make sure to postpone their upgrades until unless they have tested everything on their sandbox on the major release so let's assume this is my customer environment and I'm just assuming it at this moment. And uh, my customer is live on this at this moment. I, as a partner, will have to go here and say, right now it says that the available update is 24.5. Sooner than later, it will say that there is an update available for 25.0 uh, or whatever that version is. Now you, as a partner, are responsible or uh, should be doing that making sure that production uh, update kind of postpones to a future time and the update window is based on your customer time zone not based on your time zone okay now at the same time as this happens you need to pick up their sandbox or test environment whichever that is whatever you call them and prepone their upgrade to business central 25 as you prepone their environment update date the sandbox will get upgraded to bc25 and that's where all your customer testing should happen at that moment uh, is there a issue after you know the functionality that they were using after 25 so they all need to test out all their features and all if you are into automated testing then your automated test will automatically tell you uh, what fails and what breaks after the after this release so as of this moment if you are using uh, uh, what we call that preview environments which I was using earlier for all the videos that you have seen in the past remember those will last for one month as of today so after 
no approximately on november 4th, 5th uh, 1st any preview environment that you have created in your uh, environments they will all be deleted automatically because preview environment are just for their are exist so that partners can test out their extensions and customer would like to test certain things can be tested my environment is still preparing but having said that i'll be doing all my future videos about bc25 in the actual version not on the preview version so there's a lot that have changed with business central 25 and i'm pretty sure everybody is reading about it and i'm super excited with it because anytime there is a new release that opens up new opportunities for us as developers and partners and for sure for our customers to making their business easier and processes simpler so let me know into the comment section what you think and how excited you are with the new version release that's just announced you know the drill if you like the video hit the like button if you think this is something that other people in the community should know about share this on your social media and if you haven't and if you care to then please do subscribe to the channel otherwise that's okay so i'll see you soon or later into the next video in this particular series about bc25 and if you have any suggestions add them into the comments the comments that i'm not replying or i haven't replied for a while that'll break the series that i'm doing so i'll make sure that every comment is either replied or a video is converted for that particular comment thank you keep learning keep sharing whatever you're learning and i'll see you sooner than later into the next video have a nice day